Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Welcome to the Blade Show today. We got just a side-by-side -side versus video of the Ontario Rat Model 2 and the Blue Ridge Knives in collaboration with SE Knives, Zen Kudo. This is the two side-by-side -side little EDC blades for 2013. Uh, very similar uh, in a lot of ways and then different in a lot of ways. So we'll give you some basic specs and uh, I'll just give you my overall uh, opinion on the two blades and whether... Uh, they're a good purchase for you and which one I would recommend over the other and for what reasons. So, um, give you some basic specs here. We're going to do kind of side by side and we'll kind of go down the line. Um, the blade lengths from the handle to the tip on the Zancudo is 2.94 and on the Rat Model 2 it is 3 inches even. The cutting edge on both, the actual cutting edge, is 2.75, so just under 3 inches of actual cutting edge is exactly the same length when it comes to the edge. Uh, then we have a handle length on the Zancudo, Zancudo of uh, 4 inches even from here to here. And then we have for the Rat Model 2, uh, 4.1 from here to here. So the Rat just has a 0.1 inches longer than the Zancudo. Overall length on both is 7 inches from tip to handle, tip to handle. Uh, both have lanyard holds, pocket clips. The weight on the Zancudo is 3.1 ounces and the weight on the Rat Model 2 is 2.75 ounces so the Zancudo is a little bit heavier and then finally the handles the Zancudo is 0 0.35 inches thick on the handle the width of the handle right there and the Rat Model 2 has 0 0.42 so a little bit thicker handle on the Rat so uh, those are the specs for you now we're going to go into uh, the differences and uh, in comparisons in, in some ways. So the, the steel for both of these knives is Aus 8 steel. Uh, it has a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 59 on both. Uh, basically the same heat treatment as well. I love Aus 8. It's a budget steel, I know. Um, but it, it is a great budget steel. I love using it. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it takes an ed a fine edge really easily and holds an edge for a pretty good amount of time. Uh, you're going to get basically the exact same edge retention. So it's going to take about the same amount of time for them to dull. Uh, they both have really bogus uh, coatings. This one obviously is a satin finish on the Rat. Uh, the Zancudo has that kind of spray on that you know from like cold steel uh, you know it's going to just wear right off and you can get that same coating it will just wear right off though on the rat or you can get the Zancudo uh, satin finish so they're both the same blades basically just different designs uh, the Zancudo has more of a spear point design kind of more of aggressive drop whereas uh, the rat definitely has more of a drop point design Bar barely drops in at all R lots of belly the, the rat 2 will have more belly than the zancudo but the zancudo is going to have a little bit better tip for stabbing kind of penetrating if you needed to for that the blade thicknesses are exactly the same as well uh, no differences there on the blade thickness so blades honestly i mean they're exactly the same they're edc blades you're not going to go use this for tactical fighting uh, either one of these knives uh, it's really just on what the blade de design, and they have the exact same cutting edge, what blade design are, do you prefer more? Honestly, for me, in the blade design for EDC use, I prefer the Rat Model 2. That's not to say that the spear point on the Zancudo uh, isn't good. It's going to do everything that you would need in EDC. I just like the look of and the sweep down, sweep up with the belly of the Rat Model 2 over the Zancudo spear point uh, design. I just gravitate more to drop points than spear points. Um, going on here, we'll look at the jimping on the Zancudo. Uh, you have a very, you know, overall just nice and flat profile, which is what I really prefer and really like, particularly in EDC blades, because then if I'm holding the knife, I can put my thumb wherever I choose. I can choke up here, I can move back here, I can do wherever I need to to get a really good comfortable grip and then do my cutting. With the Rat Model 2, uh, it has more of a thumb ramp, as you can see there, and more aggressive jimping. So you're locked into place. You really can't choke up. You can. Uh, it just feels a little weird. Uh, that's really where your thumb needs to go and has to go uh, to use the knife. So for some of you who like jimping and thumb ramps, you'll actually like the Rat Model 2 more. I don't really care, particularly in an EDC knife of this size of just under three inches. Uh, there is an attempt at jimping on the Zancudo, but uh, it's pretty pathetic and almost non-existent right there. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but that's, uh, that's where your thumb would naturally 
rest all right there on the jimping and then you can move it around if you want. Uh, so it just kind of depends on you. If you're really into jimping and thumb ramps, the Rat Model 2 will feel a little bit better in your hand and give you that out option. If you're like me and you just like kind of the flat profile, uh, then the Zancudo will feel better in your hand on that side of it. Going on to the thumb studs here, uh, the thumb studs on the Rat Model 2 are actually a little bit better. They're just a little bit higher and a little bit more pronounced and it is a total ambidextrous blade because the thumb studs are equal length on either side and the pocket clip is tip down, tip up, left or right. Uh, with the Zancudo, you have uh, thumb studs that are still great. You can purchase them very easily, but uh, they're a little shorter. And on the left-hand side, it's even shorter. It's almost non-existent in comparison to the right-hand side. And the pocket clip is only for righties tip up or tip down. There is no attachment for left-handed people. So the Zancudo really is not going to be very functional for lefties at all. Uh, whereas the Rat Model 2, you can do either way for uh, left or right-handed tip up, tip down. And the thumb studs are just a little bit bigger, just a little easier to purchase than the Zancudo. Kudo. Uh, so going on to deployment, you have brass bushings in both, which are really nice, solid, and strong. Very, very strong. Uh, and I will say that the retention on the Zancudo is much better. You can't flick open the blade, uh, you know, and whip it open without touching the thumb studs. The retention, it holds it into place when, you, when the knife is closed like this uh, really well, but that lends to be kind of a stiff deployment and a little bit harder to open. Uh, you just kind of got to get a good flick going, whereas with the rat, it's like butter. I mean, you can just whoosh, whip it open like crazy. I mean, just boop, not even thinking about it, and you can easily deploy the knife. Whereas, again, with the Zancudo, I'll do it right here. I can get it to go just as fast. I just have to put more action into it. I don't really even have to flick my wrist. Uh, I just have to put more action into it, particularly if you're looking for maybe uh, an EDC blade for your girlfriend or wife. Uh, my wife rocks the Rat Model 2, and after playing with both, she doesn't really care for the deployment on the Zancudo. She likes the Rat Model 2 just because it's so smooth and so easy for her with her little fingers and hands. Whereas for me, uh, it doesn't really bother me. I just notice that the, the Rat, I don't have to put as much effort into opening as I do with the Zancudo. And that lends itself to the lockup. Uh, the Rat has a liner lock and it's really thin. Uh, it, do, it does the job for EDC. It's going to do just fine. His 50% of the blade right there uh, does great. Nothing wrong with that. But the Zancudo has a frame lock and it's much thicker and hits exactly 50% of the blade and it's just much you know stiffer. And that's why it's more difficult to open is because the retention you know it's pushing against the the action of the blade when it's closed. This uh, frame lock and it's stiffer up against the blade. Uh, but this is definitely going to be a stronger lock. If you like uh, strong frame locks, the Zancudo is where it's at because it has a steel uh, frame lock and frame on one side and then uh, a polymer plastic Zytel on the other. Whereas with the Rat, you just have Zytel scales and then uh, little steel liners in there. And the steel liner is just thinner and makes for a thinner lockup. So uh, that is the, the fact with the Zancudo. It's going to have a, like double the strength when it comes to lockup uh, and just feels a little bit more secure in your hand. Uh, going again to now to the handles, uh, you are going to get a little bit thinner blade, I mean, excuse me, thinner handle with the Zancudo, which will help with EDC tasks. They're both flow through design. Uh, and again, like I said, stainless steel on one side and then Zytel for the Zancudo on the other. Whereas with the Rat, you got Zytel on both sides and then uh, steel liners inside there. But it is flow through as well. Uh, it is going to be a little bit lighter. Uh, I can't tell a difference and I actually like the weight and feel of the Zancudo a little bit more. Uh, and in your hand, I will say that the Zancudo just feels in my large size hands better. I wear large size gloves. It fills out my hand more. You can see there my pinky is not missing. You know, it's totally locked in. Uh, and I got a really nice deep finger choil there. If I did have to do some stabbing, uh, it's just locked in really, really nice and just feels amazing, like a dream in my hand. Whereas for my large size hands with the Rat 2, I actually don't really care for how it feels in my hand. It does the job, it's okay. Got a nice deep finger choil in here as well, but uh, it just doesn't quite feel right. My pinky is definitely wanting to come off a little bit more on the back end there when I have to lock it in with that thumb ramp uh, and it's got that really big blank spot whereas with the Zancudo uh, you don't have that and it just feels much more comfortable in my large size hands. So uh, if you have small or medium sized glove hands or you're you know a, a female a girl or you're buying it for a girlfriend uh, you know the Rat Model 2 is going to be just fine but if you have large extra large size hands the Zancudo you can definitely tell a difference is going to feel just better in your hand and the handles just uh, even though it's actually a shorter handle the Rat has this big blank spot right 
right here, which you know you can't really use unless you want to kind of use it as a finger choil. Whereas the Zancudo actually scoots that finger choil up, and you get closer to the blade, and just feels better in your hand. Uh, then finally onto the pocket clips, we already kind of talked about that a little bit, but very similar, you know, pocket clips. This one actually reminds me a lot of the Kershaw Leak, but it is a really nice, strong, really nice, strong. Both the pocket clips, uh, again with the rat T tip up, tip down, left or right. With the Zancudo, it's only tip up, tip down for righties. So that is a downside that they didn't, they basically didn't make this for left handed people. Uh, they both have lanyard holes, uh, and overall, they're going to be just great blades. So, in my opinion, you're like, all right, well, that's great. Thanks for the overview. What would you recommend? Uh, first off, for the Zancudo, you know, which is new to the market, uh, I didn't even know about this until uh, August of 2013. And it came out in late September th 2013. Um, and I, I am really shocked. For $30, that is an amazing blade, the Zancudo. Feels great in your hand. The, the quality is absolutely there. Yes, I would like to see some better type of steel, regardless if it was like VG10, 154CM, uh, or another type of steel, you know, S30V maybe, or something like that. But uh, for a $30 OS 8 steel, I'm glad they didn't go with HCR 13 MOV. You know, I don't really care for that steel in comparison to OS 8. Um, you know, it's going to hold an edge well, it's going to take an edge well, and uh, I got to say, uh, if you're going to ask me between the two, for me personally, I'm going with the Zancudo every time. Just feels a little bit better quality in my hand, um, not as cheap, and uh, it's like $2 more than the Rat Model 2. Now, if you're uh, a girl or you just have really small hands, uh, or so in other words, you'd be a girl if you had small hands, uh, then the Rat Model 2 is going to be a little bit quicker in your hand, and uh, the blade geometry is great. I love the blade geometry uh, and how the blade is designed, but uh, if, I, if you're going to ask me, hey, which one are you going to rock EDC day in, day out? Zancudo every time, uh, and again, for the price point, both of these right around the $30 mark is super impressive. Uh, both are great blades, but for me, I'm saying that the Zancudo wins uh, purely and particularly if you're a right-hander uh, because of all the options you get, the quality, the lockup um, is, is just there and it just feels like a better quality blade than the Rat Model 2. So I hope this review has helped you guys out. The side-by-side. -side. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.